Yo, what's up guys, look at your from Jake. This is a brand new video, and today I have a brand new episode of YouTube Tips for you guys. The last time I had made this episode was a pretty long time ago, so thought it's time to bring you guys a brand new episode, so let's get started. Today we're going to go into the techie side of YouTube, and we're going to talk about uh, what software is the best to edit with. And when I say uh, software, I mean uh, video editing software. We're going to talk about audio editing softwares in a little bit. I'm really good with tech and all that good stuff, so if you guys need help just PM me or I can just help you buy these videos so be sure to like the video um, so we can have more episodes so I know that you guys want to see these videos so let's get started all right so let me tell you guys a quick backstory um, I have been using a lot of softwares in the last month I've been using like Sony Vegas AVS editor one of movie makers a lot of Adobe products and um I've been trying different things with different software. I've been doing trick shotting montages. Um, I will have one out soon for you guys. Uh, I have some top 10 videos. Maybe I'll upload some top 10, top 5 clutches, something like that. And then I also have commentaries and trolls and gameplays. So I I edit a lot. Like I'm the main editor. Clutch doesn't edit anything for Trong HD, but uh, he does help with the gameplay, and that is amazing help. And it's pretty much all I need uh, help for because I'm pretty good with editing. I'm probably one of the best on YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm I'm not a beginner. I know like mostly every sh shortcut keyboard whatever for Sony Vegas and. Premiere. I'm pretty good at editing, so let's get started. Today, um, I'm gonna be telling you some tips about editing and what software to use. So, just um, if you guys hear any software doing this uh, commentary, it's gonna be in the description, so you guys can go download it yourself. I'm not sponsored by any software, uh, so uh, I'm not gonna be having a biased opinion. So, let's get started. Let's talk about Sony Vegas. Um, if you guys don't know, the majority of YouTube commentators use Sony Vegas due to the fact it's very easy and simple to use, and I totally agree with that. I use Sony Vegas 12. 11 and 10 and they're all excellent the only thing that I had problems with was the rendering settings I didn't really like them it didn't render as clear maybe it's just my computer but um uh, with others like softwares I used it rendered way better and it could just be my GPU and CPU acceleration speeds um, if you guys have no clue what that is just leave it. it doesn't really matter um, I would give Sony Vegas a 4.5 out of 5 stars due to the fact it's decent, but it is really, really hard to uh, learn. It took me about a week when I first downloaded I was like, what the fuck is this? And then I slowly started using it, and I developed uh, getting better at it. And it's really easy now. I can just use it. Like, I can edit with my eyes closed on it. And I would say for beginners, uh, you can download it. If you can master it and get good with it, you are a good editing uh, editor yourself. And and it's a good skill to have. Um, if you guys want to go something simpler, I would be using AVS for you. That's what I used for at least uh, a year and like six months of YouTube. I've been using that software, and it's a great software. I would give that five out of five, but actually I wouldn't. I'll give it four out of five because it can't do the stuff. It can't do advanced stuff that Sony Vegas and uh, other softwares like uh, Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro. It can't do advanced stuff like that. Stuff that those softwares can do is just uh, complete extreme than the simple editing software when I see simple it's not like um, movie maker it's not terrible but it's pretty simple it just has a couple of effects transitions and a uh, place where you can commentate and place where you can cut clips that's pretty much all you have to have if you just want to upload commentary so that is probably one of the best video editing softwares for commentaries ABS for you link in the description again guys if you want to get it so um, I would really recommend that to new YouTubers, starting YouTubers, but um, also do not use it just because I'm saying it's just for new people. It's definitely not. Um, I use it for a year and a half, and that's the majority of the time I've been doing YouTube, because I've been doing YouTube before Touring HD, and yeah, it's a good software. It's not really good for montages at all. Your montages will be shit if you use that, so do not use that for montages. ABS for you is the best to go with um, like editing commentaries and simple game gameplays and stuff like that so moving on to the next uh editing software I have used I have used Adobe Premiere Pro and this is just probably the best software um, I have ever used I fell in love with it it is so easy to use I can just use it with my eyes closed it's better than Sony Vegas I would give this a complete 5 out of 5 to the fact it's just so clear and crisp and sometimes when I use Sony Vegas I feel like I can't see the clips as well but with this oh my gosh you guys need to definitely check this out I feel like um, it's really organized so you can find all the transitions uh, all the effects that you guys want to have in one position instead of Sony Vegas they're a bit scattered um, it is great Adobe 
MLB uh, Premiere Pro. It's a 30-day trial if you guys want to get it. Link in the description. Um, I would say it's really good for commentaries. Uh, but the only thing that uh, I don't like about it is that I have to use an external audio recorder to commentate because I don't really like the commentating over with uh, Adobe. So, um, I don't know. You guys can decide if you want to use it. For montages, I would definitely recommend Sony Vegas or Adobe Pro. For uh, trick shotting or top fives, definitely Adobe. Due to the fact that um, you can just cut them. You can, it's a cut clean software. So, you can just add in clips without any um, load time or any cache time. And it's just really easy to use. Um, so, going back, I'm going to tell you guys uh, another software too. I forgot what it's called. Um, it was like... Uh, let me just, actually, no, it wasn't that good, so it's not that important, it's probably not that good. So, these are the top threes in my mind. Um, avs for You being at third, then Sony Vegas being at second, and then Adobe Premiere Pro being at number one. And again, if you have a Mac, get Final Cut, uh, don't ask any questions, just get that. That's probably one of the best editing softwares I've handled with, but I do not have a Mac myself, so I have to use Adobe um, Premiere Pro. I don't even know if it's Adobe or Adobe, uh, I don't know, I fucking might sound like a dumbass because I've been saying Adobe the whole time i don't really care but premiere pro is one of the best softwares i've used um it's really good for editing anything in general to be honest with you if you guys want to do more trick shots montages and all that go with adobe or sony vegas do not use avs for you and that's pretty much all the tips i can tell you if you guys want to know um the rendering setting settings and all that good stuff uh let me know because i know how to render videos pretty good like sometimes people just render with the preset custom uh render settings and they're not as crisp and clean so you want to just use your gpu acceleration while you're editing uh it'll, it'll or sorry while you're rendering it'll render way faster and it'll be way cleaner because you're not putting all uh all the pressure on your cpu if you don't know what a cpu is um i'll upload a tech Thursday video. I'm thinking of starting a series of where I just explain. I don't want to copy Woody's gamer tag though, so I might not. But I'm pretty good with tech, so I was thinking I can start a series where I just explain to you guys like what NAT type is, what tech, uh, what processing is, how to process faster, uh, just what CPUs are, what GPUs are, what video cards are good, and I don't know. You guys should let me know. It's not really copying him because uh, he's not the only one who talks about tech and stuff. So I don't want to be like I don't want to be the next raw instinct. So I'm gonna think about. It, but uh, definitely go with uh, Adobe, Sony Vegas, or AVS for you. The other softwares are really bad. And uh, another good thing I like about Adobe, I believe there's no uh, watermark. With AVS for you, there's one thing that really kills uh, the whole purpose of it. It's a great software, but it has a watermark in it. So when you edit and then render the video, it's going to have a little watermark in the middle of it. But uh, uh, there are ways you can get removed of that. You can uh, crack it. You can buy the full version. Uh, I'm not telling you guys which one to do, but you can decide. And the crack is really easy. Wink, wink. Uh, I have used the. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, okay, going on to Sony Vegas. It has a watermark, but it's in the bottom right or uh, bottom left corner. And the thing about that, it is not as uh, annoying as uh, ABS for use because that's just in the middle. Uh, Adobe, I believe there's or Adobe Premiere Pro. I believe there's no watermark, so it's pretty good. And the rendering, okay, fastest rendering would be with ABS for you due to the fact it doesn't use as many uh doesn't use as many like it doesn't use any things like it doesn't have as many extensions and all that and Sony Vegas uses a lot and so does Adobe Adobe uses a shitload I forgot what they're called but uh it doesn't use as much as them so it edits it renders really fast and processing and rendering are basically the same thing if any of you guys don't know uh and so Adobe uh it's pretty good at rendering um but the one thing I fine with it is that sometimes it's a bit slow because uh, it's rendering pretty good but that's pretty much it for this video definitely go for the three I said link in the description for all of the things I've talked about uh, go with AVS for you if you're a beginner go with Sony Vegas or uh, Adobe Premiere Pro if you're pretty good at uh, editing that's pretty much it guys rate comment and subscribe and I'm out peace